Look at that. The rain stopped for a little bit. The sun's peeking out, but not for long. The sweet ones, if you're finding yourself needing to disengage, allow yourself to do that. I have been flooded with messages this morning. People wanting to give up. People wanting to, they can't handle these energies. And they can't handle what is being presented. And sweet ones, remember what I've been saying. You know, you're going to be experiencing this stuff. And to just really stay present, stay grounded, stay in that in that heart space that these energies are bringing bringing stuff and circumstances and experiences of, of things that need to be released now animals are going through these as these light and coated filaments continue to bathe you and bathe all of us these an the animals are going through it too and you're really going to find that the animals are also transitioning you know, really be in gratitude for the experience that they have brought to you and, and allow yourself to grieve for it. That's right, Jamie. Jamie says, flowy, no thing to handle. Jump in, we. That's right. And and so really allow yourself. It's always more challenging right before, you know. You always want to give up right at the end of it, sweet ones. And allow yourselves not to give up allow yourselves to not lose faith to to not lose hope right now you're being asked in every space in every breath sweethearts to stay centered to really just flow with this and, and let these energies go and not really attach to them and and i know that's easier said than done um i, I do but again, you're being asked to surrender to spirit, sweet ones. And the only way to do that, regardless of what is being presented, is is to stand and stay in that space of that faith and, and that trust you have in the Creator. So really, for some of you, for those of you that are going through those spaces of bliss and stuff and are really centered and grounded right now, and you're seeing these in your presence, your friends in your groups and whatnot, reach out. If you're sensing that, if you're feeling that they, even though they're not ask, they're not reaching out and asking for help or whatever, if you are seeing them in a space, go within and surround them with love and, you know, a be there for them. Reach out to them if they're not able to reach out to us. And that is really a necessity right now because so many that have been, have not been awakened, who have chosen to awaken, those that, um, you know, are, start, are starting to spiral and, and give up, really be present for them, share your love with them and bring, you know, you're asking to to come in into unity, sweet ones, and that's being there for each other. That's being that pillar it, that they need, whether that's light, whether that's love, whether that's peace, whether that's a shoulder, a hug, whatever it may be. And really, mm -hmm. you know, reach out if you need to. If they can't reach out to you and you're seeing it, reach out to them. and And really be present on what's going on because... That's where coming together and being that support, if you will, being that, you know, you can reach out if you're finding yourself in a space of frustration or irritability or spiraling or whatever definition label you want to give it. And you reach out and say, look, I really just need you to hold space for me or send me some loving energy and really just visualize them and surround them with that with loving energy and be there for them and in again i'm noticing you know many are, are are messaging me on it and they're spiraling and don't attach to it sweet ones breathe the very first mm -hmm. thing i encourage each of you to do is breathe when you start to feel irritable when you start to feel like you're spiraling when you start to feel frustrated or anything else breathe 
breathe, breathe, breathe. Prana breathing. Deep breathing and let it, and you know, and really center yourself, ground yourself through this. Again, you know, that's what this week is all about leading up to Monday to this, to this full moon partial lunar eclipse. Aquarius is the air. It's mental. And Aquarius represents the mind and overthinking. <laughs> so with this full moon in Aquarius, you know, you're going to be overthinking. You're going to be attaching to that which you're trying to release. And that's why being present and, and observing it is so important right now. Because Uranus is going retrograde. And Uranus rules Aquarius. And this full moon partial lunar eclipse is in Aquarius. Do you see the polarity of why it's so important to stay in a peaceful heart? Because your mind is going to be overthinking. And your mind, what you're releasing and what is coming up to be released, sweethearts, is that AI, that, that programming. And it wants you to attach to it, sweet ones. It wants you because it does not know anything else but that so really allow yourselves to observe really try to to not let what's coming up dictate your emotions and that's where grounding and earthing and walking barefoot in the grass and stuff is really gonna help you through this in your breath and that's and I, again i really encourage you Reach out if you find yourselves in those spaces, sweet ones. And if you feel that you cannot reach out, everybody else, I encourage you to observe too. And if you see somebody or feel somebody needing that that can't reach out, reach out to them. And, and just really allow yourselves. This is an intense week, sweet ones. And it's going to get in more intense. So, good morning, sweethearts. I love you. Big, big hugs and blessings. So, really, just just stay present. Just, it's, I know it's easy to, I know it's easy for me to say that to you. These energies are not making it easy, sweet ones, and I get that. I really, truly do. But we're here for you, and you're not alone. You are not alone. Diarrhea, chest pains. Many of you are feeling a lot of chest pains. You're feeling a lot mm -hmm. of discomfort in your throat area in your sinuses a lot of you are feeling that fourth eye being opened the headaches are intense for many of you it's helpful to understand that right back here is that fourth eye that leads right into your pituitary gland and your pituitary gland is now opening your third eye has been open your pituitary gland is now opening and it is coming into harmonizing and, and balance within that's, that's the feminine and masculine essence within each of you rising together. Because, you know, that's, your third eye is, is the seeing eye and the fourth eye is the knowing eye. And they're coming in together. Um, what do you, Phaedra says what now? Um, I give support, but I need it now myself. Such a difficult time. It is intense. I'm here for you, Phaedra. I'm here for you, beautiful. And Lizette, you too. Um, <clears throat> there's, there again, sweet ones, it's, it is intense. But see beyond it. See through it. See around it. See above it. See below it. Expand, expand your observation, sweet ones, and it will help you get through this. And remember, it is never, never what the physical presents. It's all, there's always an underlying, a hidden and unseen aspect to it. And that's why it's so important not to reattach new emotions to it. So know that, that all is well, sweet ones. All is of perfect design. And, and even though it's challenging right now in the physical mm -hmm. plane, you got this. You got this. It's just a matter of releasing the old to, make, to empty your cup to make room for the new. For the new realities you have created, for the new timelines that you're moving into through these eclipses, mm -hmm. and just allow the old to be released. And allow yourselves to grieve, sweet ones. Don't attach new emotions to that grief, but allow yourselves to feel into it, to accept it, and, and, and to release it. 
and it will get it will get easier. The diarrhea, I encourage you, that's just flushing your system out of toxins. Again, every time you intake these light and coated filaments and you integrate it into your vessels, then you have to ground it into the new earth grid. And by doing that, your body too ha goes through its own spaces of these energies that are coming up. You know, some of them are released through emotions, some of them rashes, some of them diarrhea, you know, whatever may be the case, but they work in tandem with each other, simultaneously with each other, sweet ones. And sometimes your vessel releases stuff to make it easier so you're more graceful, so you're not oh, bombarded, if you will, on full emotional experiences. And come on, mama. And so just really allow yourselves to whatever it may be salt baths, drink extra lemon water, citrus water. Citrus water will help flush that out of the system if you're having diarrhea, if you're having skin rashes. It will help flush it, it through. And just know this too shall pass. And, uh, Carla says, I so needed this message. I'm holding tight to remember to allow and flow. Tearful today. <clears throat> there was a lot of action last night, sweet ones. And a lot of the what we have been talking about, a lot of the darkness is being removed from the planet, if you will. And with that, again, comes mm -hmm. release. Many of you are irritable. Many of you are tearful. A lot of it is also being affected. And by what is energetically being released, the magnetics around, you know, the magnetics around are, are being adjusted. The planet is speeding up. If time is speeding up, if you will, and with that, your physical vessels are going to go through this because it has to adjust to the new frequencies. And so, even on animals, that's right, Phaedra, even on animals, my, my animals go through it intensely when the energies first come in. And it takes them 24 hours, 48 hours sometimes to, to recalibrate themselves and, and, you know. So, know that everything you're going through and your animals and whatnot is normal for what is happening right now. We we shifted time again yesterday, and that's going to that's going to cause you know some wobbling until people get adjusted to that frequency. So really, just be present, observe, sweet ones, and love yourself and each other through it. Love, 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 love whatever arises. Love the tears. Love the anger. Love the frustration. And be forgiving of it. It's okay to feel. It's okay to be present with them. And allow them to come up. You just don't want. New emotions if you will. Attach to it. And and really just. Try and find something fun to do. If you're finding yourselves in tears. If you're finding yourself frustrated. If you're finding yourself irritable. And you have to pull back. Pull back. Honor thyself. Honor your vessel. That's what you're being asked to do. To pamper you through this grieving period. Because really, the grieving period, sweethearts, is truly the grieving for all the old that you have already severed yourselves from. And now it's just being released. I love you. Big, big, big hugs and blessings, sweet ones. You're not alone. That's probably the greatest thing here for many of you. You are not alone. Jenny, this is definitely a roller coaster. I've had a splitting headache for three days and my emotions are so crazy. Absolutely. I told you, you're going to be on a roller coaster for the next three weeks. Up and down of intensity. And I named it the freedom ride for a purpose. Because <laughs> this really is. The more you can release, the more you're freeing yourself. And that's really where you want to be, sweet ones. You want you want to release it into your cup so you can bring in all that you have worked so worked for for so long now. So really, just allow yourselves to 
to love and know that that the diarrhea, the chest pains, the coughing, um, the feeling like you're being smothered in your lungs, the sinuses, the ringing in the ears, the migraine headaches, the flu-like symptoms, flu, just like God stands for um, generator, generator, operator, destroyer. Flu stands for mm -hmm. fluctuating light upgrades. And, you know, just allow it to take place. You're not dying, if you will. You're being upgraded. You're being recalibrated. So your physical vessels can come into unity and harmonization with the new frequencies that is going on with the planet. And that's really what's causing the discomfort and distortions in your vessels. So you really just, you know, if you have to put, you know, again, go play, sweet ones. If you're down, go, you know, remove yourself from the situation or the, whatever it may be. Change your scenery, if you will. You know, if you're finding yourself depressed in the house, go for a walk. You know, go to the park and swing like a little child. Go out and play ball. I mean, go find something fun. Whatever is fun for you that puts you in a space of fun and laughter. And here's something else that may work for you when you find yourself. Now, I'm not saying ignore what's coming up. I'm not saying that at all. You really need to be present with it and just not attach new emotions. But once you become present with it and, and you're trying to transmute, you're attempting to transmute the energies from it, really allow yourself to go into a space of joy. Find whatever it is that's going to put you into that frequency of joy. And for some, it's just a matter. All you have to do is just start laughing. And you will, or go to YouTube. I mean, they have many videos out there of people just laughing. Laughter is contagious. Even if you don't feel like laughing, start laughing. Laughter is contagious and it will automatically raise your frequency. You know, if you have animals, lay down there and play with them. Play on the floor. If you're not used to playing with them, play with them. Animals hold a very unconditional love energy. And they will bring you out of your funkiness, if you will, for lack of a better description. So, know that you're going through upgrades and recalibrations. Your eyes are fuzzy. Your eyesight is being upgraded to enhanced vision. Um, some of them are experiencing the twitching. Again, everything's being recalibrated to adjust to these higher frequencies that the planet has rise, risen to and evolved to and continues as time is sped up and this is really that roller coaster with all of these energies on top of it so just flow sweet ones you're not alone we're here for you reach out if you need to i love you big big hugs and blessings you got this don't stress on it all is perfect you just got to focus on the perfection of it. I love you. Have a great day, sweethearts. Bye-bye now. Wait a sec. Akel, Crystal Child, everything is so confusing these days. Sweetheart, it is confusing. And that's because we're going through great, great, great change. Within and without. And it is now. You guys have... Have done so much work within. Now remember, we're dissolving the polarity and the duality, if you will. And no longer is it going to be as above, so below, as within, so without. No, it's all right now. And so all of that is that polarity, if you will, is dissolving to where there is no polarity. It's all just zero point. And... That's what's coming up to be released, is that polarity thinking, that duality energy. And no longer do we want the as within and the as and so without separated. We want to bring them together, and that is what is occurring now. Now you're starting to see the tangible proof. Now you're starting to see the changes that you have worked so hard within here. Now you're going to start seeing those manifestations of the higher frequencies 
that you have evolved to and you are maintaining. That is what is manifesting throughout these, this whole month. It is allowing you to empty that yourself of the old, bringing yourself back to zero point, and anchoring in as without as within so without together is one if you will again the masculine and feminine polarity in union rising together and it had to come back to zero point in order for them to rise together and that's what's happening that's what's happening with the fourth eye and pituitary gland being opening and balancing with your the knowing eye balancing with the seeing eye the masculine and feminine again and and bring in, and with that, the more he, this comes into harmony, these two eyes, and come into zero point, into one eye, if you will. So too, as within, so without, as above, so below, too. The more these two harmonize, the more there is no space between as above and so below, and as within and so without. There's none, no more of that the more you bring this into harmony, the fourth eye and the third eye, the knowing eye and the seeing eye into one eye, the one eye of God, of Creator, and that is what you're going through, and that is why you're experiencing what you're going through, and what is being presented, revealing to you what needs to be released to bring these into full union and harmony in the physical, if you will. So really be gentle with yourselves. Be very loving with yourselves. And all of these memories and stuff that are coming up for some of you that are just awakening. It's okay. It's okay. And just flow with it. And be present with it. And love whatever arises. And love those that are playing the roles for you that are triggering it to, re to reveal itself. That is really important. And allow this harmonization to manifest into the physical suite once you've worked too hard to give up now. You've come too far to lose faith and hope now. Faith is the truth that the trust you behold and that trust is in the Creator knowing that He's got you. Knowing that she's got you. Knowing that together as one, you are home free. You have graduated, sweet ones. You already have your crown in your glory. Release what no longer fits on that crown anymore. You, know not, you no longer need the little devil horns to hold on your crown. It can sit up there all by itself now. You're, you, give yourself permission to let go of the little horns up there. You don't need them no more. Your crown fits just perfect now. I love you. Have a great day, sweet ones. Bye-bye.